Hello, hello. Thank you for coming back and continuing this journey with me. Last we left on at Big O Tires, and we shall continue. My name's Alec Mars, and we're, these are photos I've taken at night with uh, Cinestill 50D. That's a daylight film stock, for those who do not un know. And, uh, yeah, let's jump into it. So with this one, uh, I was, I used a monopod, it was in a parking garage, and, you know, <laughs> it wasn't me, I was just, uh, observing. Let's see here, let me grab my rubric real quick. Alright, so, out of five, I'd give this image, hmm, I'd give it a four out of five. I really like it. I, it's got a story. It's got some kind of... I, I like it. Four out of five. Is it interesting? I think so. I mean, even though... Because it's simple, it's interesting. Because you don't have to try and guess what you're looking at. Is it unique? Mm, no, I wouldn't say it is. I'd say it's... There's nothing that pops out that really draws the eye. So, yeah, uh, is a strong composition. Um, I mean, it is a centered person. I could have made it a thirds, but um, I mean, it works. Sometimes you got to know the rules to break them. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, composition works, but it does not follow the rules or the guidelines you know um aesthetically absolutely Cinestill does a fantastic job with the halations um i did overexpose it a bit but i think it i think it kind of works out is it funny no this is uh I, this scene with the black at the top and you know mostly there's a lot of negative space and that in itself is filling the void uh, for the aesthetic. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think this is a funny image. Uh, do would I share this? Absolutely, and I would tag this person <laughs> with their permission, of course. Uh. So yeah. Uh. Four out of five. This was the first attempt, so this image has the same vibe, just different. So this one I'd give a 2 out of 5, just because I do like the motion blur, but it did not, it was not what I was trying to capture. Um, Alright, next one. This image, oh my lord. When I saw this image through the viewfinder, it looked a lot different. So that's just me getting used to having to actually, I guess, I don't know. I'm used to using a rangefinder, uh, and so, so since switching to my my Nikkor mat, um, it's been interesting. Uh, I definitely have been framing differently. So um, I this did not capture what I wanted at all. I should have gotten closer. I wanted to capture these red doors, the elevator doors. Um, but I think I need a more, a longer focal length. I'm only shooting at 50 right here. So, uh, should have got, I need a longer focal length and I should have gotten a little bit lower, tilted it up. Yeah. Uh, so this image, I'm, I'm giving a one out of five because it, I, should have worked the shot a bit more yeah so uh is it interesting no it's not is it unique absolutely not <laughs> strong composition no aesthetic arguable is it funny in hindsight i hope this will be funny later down the road when i look back on this again <laughs> is it shareable absolutely not all right next photo okay so uh this is a different person um i used the monopod tried to get the 
leading lines uh, and just kind of just, just testing out my camera, okay, you know, I'm getting into film, I'm shooting everything, like, I'm shooting it like it's my digital camera, and I'm learning not to do that, <laughs> I guess learning to be more, uh, I'm learning how to do it in a way that's effective, so hopefully you like and subscribe, <laughs> and uh, check out my future videos, but anyways, yeah, this image I'd give probably, mm, I'd probably do about a two, two point five out of, two point five out of five. I do like it. It kind of gets what I was going for. It's not necessarily interesting, and it's not unique. Does it have com strong composition? Well, we've got this strong leading line right here. We've got the void. Uh, excuse me, uh, negative space. You have a single subject. It is centered though, so. But you could argue that that is for the leading lines. But um, I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, is it funny? No. No, I don't think so. I think it does have its own aesthetic, though. Uh, would I share this? Maybe after some editing. Maybe. But uh, over as this photo is, no, I don't think it's too shareable. Maybe with a collage or something, it would be shareable. Um, with um, this photo perhaps but um, as by itself no so next photo so I definitely miss my zoom lens for my on my digital camera um, and I'm gonna definitely need to get a longer lens for this um, for my film camera because I do, when I'm up here and I get these vantage points, I like taking people shots. But as you can see, these people are blurry. I mean, the shutter speed needed to be high because I'm shooting with daylight film. Like, come on. Rookie mistake, rookie mistake. This image gets a 1 out of 5. It's not very interesting unless think the colors are the halation combination and you're like oh what's that maybe um, but I don't think it is I think now the more that I look at it the less happy I am with it <laughs> um, doesn't have strong composition because I was focusing solely on trying to capture these people instead of thinking what is around them and that is that's a rookie mistake so <laughs> Um, I mean, it's got its own aesthetic. It's a night scene. You get some silhouettes. Uh, is it funny? Um, painfully. Uh, is it shareable? No. Not by itself. I don't think so. Um, definitely could use some editing. And, uh, yeah. So. One out of five, not shareable. This one... A little bit different, captured more scene, a little bit zoomed in. I do like this more. Um, yeah, this is a lot better than than the previous one. Uh, even though it is, it's capturing a lot of motion. It was windy that night. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, with the monopod, uh, so that prob that is what I believe this is the motion of. Because I used a monopod with this. But I, I need to get a tripod. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm not really sure. There's no clear subject. The subject could be the trees, but... This is getting more into abstract art. Abstract photography, in my opinion. Um, yeah. So, is it unique? Um, yeah, I think it is. I think it's interesting, and I think it's unique. Because of the abstractness, you kind of have to decipher what things are. Like these lights <laughs> crossing with these lights. What, what's going on there? That's pretty cool. The bleeding of the lights through the trees, silhouettes, is real nice. Uh, this is, I don't think the composition though. The composition is not here, it's lacking. Um, 
but the aesthetic is here and it could be funny if you think that taking these kind of shots are funny uh, would I share this hmm, I would because of because of the aesthetic of it <laughs> so um, I forgot what I said for my original rating but um, I'm changing it to a three uh, three out of five so I would share it and I, it's three out of five next photo all right this one I was capturing some folks uh, they were standing there but um, because of the shutter speed and I'm shooting with daylight film I had uh, I had to shoot wide open high very very long shutter speed um, and this is what we captured what I captured and I like it I I'm surprised at one second that this is the result but yeah interesting so um, I mean it almost looks like they're not even there so it's really lacking so um, it's a 1.9 out of 5 and is it interesting just this is but not no it's not it's these colors aren't very interesting there's distracting elements I mean yeah it, and it's not very unique either but at the time I was hoping to get their very vibrant purple jerseys in contrast to this drab so that was the original goal but that did not happen so it's got its own aesthetic now is it funny no well these two they were fighting not in the not in a dangerous way but just verbal verbal roughhousing and uh that was funny is it shareable no not really i mean maybe i would but maybe later in my career i might but <laughs> i don't think i don't think now i would share this so 1.9 out of 5 is it shareable no all right and with this it's just interesting that there is the movie box office and a whole car parked in this area but i guess you can drive through this area so um we have a flagpole in here in the foreground not really got a lot of different lights going on uh the blur kind of takes away from that but we can still see it i don't know why but i just smelt raviolis i'm at a hospital parking lot in my car there's no way there's raviolis around me so yeah anyways this image what do i rate it it's a one out of five there's i thought i had something here but looking at it i don't think there's anything here um maybe if this was in black and white but usually when i shoot black and white I, it's very intentional for black and white very good um and let's see here is it interesting no is it unique no no composition no aesthetic i don't believe like the aesthetic is not even here no is it funny painful it's it's if you want to laugh at me is it shareable no absolutely not so one out of five maybe even zero out of five yeah okay so this one um i saw a mover and they were moving things obviously in the middle of the night and i wanted to capture that because this was a really cool scene but because of the wide open and i did it kind of from the hip almost uh it came out blurry so i should have shot oh, i think i was shooting wide open but i still needed because i was shooting with daylight film i needed to shoot with a very long shutter speed 
Um, so this image is an interesting. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think I think it's I think it's got its own taste. It's very abstract again, in my opinion. Um, so it could be unique. Uh, I don't think there's very strong composition here, but it does have its own aesthetic. Um, yeah, the neon lights, the halations, and then an in indistinguishable person moving something. Yeah. I don't think this image is funny, but um, I would share it. I would share this. So I'm going to give this a 2.5 out of 5. Yeah. All right. I was messing around with motion blur with this one. Very good. Very good. And um, I was also trying to do panning, but decided to do motion blur first or just capture it and see what it looks like on film. And I'm, I'm really happy with how this looks. Like, this this looks amazing, in my opinion. But I need a better scene for it to be in. But for practice, this, this looks great. I'm very happy with it. Um, three out of five. Is it interesting? I mean, the motion blur is. I, I think it's interesting but not necessarily particularly anything that would stand out. So I guess, no, it's not interesting. Is it unique? No, we've seen this. Uh, strong composition. No, I should have placed, I should have had a different scene, but I liked these windows. I didn't, I, yeah, it's all right. I had an idea and the sometimes the only way you know if something's gonna work is by doing it so here we are and this is the result so I think it looks pretty cool it's got its own aesthetic might not have the greatest composition but it looks great in my opinion I like the dualness it's come on um, is it shareable I mean yeah I think it's shareable I mean it show I can use it to show things that I'm working on and what I'm testing out with my camera and ask if anybody else is doing it. Let me know if you guys like to uh, do motion blur like this with your film camera. Um, so yeah, uh, three out of five. All right, so these guys, I'm actually gonna stop here. <laughs> very good, very good.